it goes back to 1950. Um, a Polish immigrants um, formed a, a team which uh, basically was a bit of a kick around team uh, where they started off at Woodside up in the hills. Um, and eventually they became part of the Federation and they um, formed the club in 1950. It was called the Polonia Sports Club. And they joined the uh, Federation League in 1952 in the third, then third division. Um, that season they blew every team apart, won 18 out of 18 games, but the most impressive thing was winning the Federation Cup, or was then known as the Polaco Cup, as a third division side knocking off teams, you know, in the second and first division, you know, teams like Juventus and Beer were quite strong in those days, so that really put the club on the map. And, uh, uh, three years later, they got to the first division in 1955 and, and won the league, so it just really sort of sprouted from there. Probably by the late 60s, early 70s was the start of, I guess, what you can call the, the golden era at the club, and that's when, you know, trophies were sort of the norm rather than the exception. Um, and that, that was no mean feat because Juventus and Hellas were dominating, you know, state football at that time. Coming here as a junior playing in the, in the early 70s and watching the first team play and, and there was just, I, I was lucky enough to be in that era which saw the likes of a young John Kuzmina play centre forward as an 18 year old, uh, Vic Bozanek, John Chahinsky, Henry and Marion Kalecki, a guy called Henrik Stebel who I still think is the best player that ever stepped foot on the park. Uh, 1975 was probably the best year where we won the double, um, winning on the last game of the season and then beating Juventus in the cup final. You know, the tr tradition still still holds. Uh, we still have the mermaid with the shield as our emblem and uh, the Polish eagle features a lot as well. Uh, and we'll always, we'll never uh, forget um, you know, the, the Polish that built the club because it was their, their uh, hard work and toil that made it all possible. I finished playing in 2000 and 2012 and then I went and played amateurs for all, socially, and then I got a call one night from Mark Brazali. Uh, Nick Munro had done his uh, ankle. So in 2014, at the age of 40 years old, I come back and played a dozen games for the club, um, um, which was which was frightening, being that so young these days and, and, and more athletic and quick, uh, it kind of took me by surprise in, in, in some circumstances. But at the end of it, um, out of my generation, I'm the only one that's got a, uh, a winner's medal. Although I sat on the bench that game, um, I've still got a top league medal and it's something that will, will be very proud and, and honourable. A fella called Mark Mazzali, who was coaching our reserves, he come in and I played under Mark for two years. Not only has he brought us uh, success and, um, and trophies to our club, he's brought a He's, he's reinstated the culture to a certain degree. Uh, Mark seems to know how to get the best out of his players. Um, and along with Mark, there's a, a Joe Catalano, uh, there's Josh Avery, uh, there's a Colangelo's behind the scenes. There's everyone behind the scenes that have kind of, um, the, in, in the modern age, uh, have really brought this club success. I mean, you, you, you know, guys who work the canteen, guys who work the bar, Chessy, uh, Theo Kostarkos, who, who just did, you know, people don't really know who Theo is or Chessy is, but they're guys that, that just run the club day to day, and, and that's what makes a successful club. Started playing off under 14s, and so I was about 13. But yeah, as a kid, I used to go out to games and Dad used to bring me out probably since I was about about three or five, something like that. And um, yeah, so I always grew up watching the first team and yeah, wanting to play first team football. Memories is pretty much just being a kid on the sideline and just watching and yeah, just enjoying yeah being at the games on Saturdays and yeah, just enjoying the atmosphere. It's probably the championships, I would say, for personally and for the club. Um, you know, we the club hadn't won a championship in quite a while before. Uh, we won it in 2014, so I think that was probably one of the one of the uh, most memorable moments. It's probably as I've grown up my whole life, you know, with 
well, being around the club, so I guess that's why it's so special. I've, it's just kind of what I do and yeah, what I'm about, so. Myself and my family have been part of the club for probably about 13 years. Um, our relationship started when uh, my son uh, played here when he was six um, and he played right through to the juniors and now um, is lucky enough to play um, in the uh, senior grades. Um, so uh, we have had a long history with Croydon. It has been um, a real pleasure to have been part of a great club. It is a great community club. Oh look, I think the reality is, is there's significant history here. I mean, this is a club that's been in existence for 69 years, nearly 70 years. It has a rich Polish culture and certainly the Polish community it, uh, plays a significant role in this club. Sometimes history isn't about a building, it's about what we create as a community and who we are as a community. So I really believe wherever we are, that spirit of the Polish community and the spirit of community will continue in um, you know, the next chapter and the next journey. It'll be a sad day, the last game of the season, I'm sure. Um, well, the last time we're here, so you know, just got to make the most of it. Um, it's the friendships and the people that um, that have been a part of the club, not just now but in the past. Um, there's, a, there's a sort of special warmth with all the people that are, it's a family atmosphere and um, we've had so many laughs and so many memories. We've had good times, we've had bad times, but the main thing is we've done it all together and we've always pulled through with Ange uh, Colangelo, the chairman, uh, since you know he's uh, taken the reins, we've really seen a lot of success off the field and on the field, and uh, I think it uh, can only get better.